about something y'all know i'm good for going live and just jumping on and just saying anything right so today i don't know if i typed it at the top before you all logged on but basically i want to talk about getting you some real authentic friends and what i mean by real authentic friends i'm talking about those people who are true so you're probably saying yolanda what do you mean by true I'm talking about those people who will be there. Hey, Chris. Uh, hey, Jamal. Um, those people that will be there, who's been there, or who, even if they just came in in this season, but they are showing you their true authentic selves, meaning that if you need them, you can call them. I don't care what time it is. It could be 1 o'clock. It could be 2 o'clock in the morning. It could be 12 in the afternoon. You know, you might need something. And they'll say, you know what? I'm here sometimes I'm gonna tell you just being in business and I'm gonna speak from a business aspect the Lord is leveling me up and when I say he's leveling me up when you get leveled up people expose themselves do you hear me people expose themselves when God is taking you to higher heights people will expose themselves and, and will expose their true self um and the reason i say that is because you know people will be down for you as long as you ain't doing nothing people will be down for you as long as you you know broke busted and disgusted you know long as you full of drama long as you full of hate long as you full of dislike they're gonna be there right there with you whoa but let god start doing some things let that be a shift in your life because i'm gonna tell you you know i had made a post yesterday and it says i am saved but you can catch these hands and that's a true statement some people believe that since god has humbled you that you don't still have that savage inside of you right we keep that savage person suppressed why? Because God has shown us different. But again, back to talking about the friends. You have people who will high five you all day long. And I mean, I got Pastor Jamal Phillips right here on live right now. He's a pastor, right? And him and I weren't part of, um, we were class bandmates. And our friendship no matter how much time has passed by i can call that pastor and say look jamal i need you to pray with me or i need you to say a prayer for me and he'll never change i don't care how many years have passed by why because he's a true authentic friend right same thing look tori's on here too as well from back in school days you know we went to different high schools but we connected through other things and if i was to say tori you know what i need you to do something in the community guess what he's gonna do it but then you have those people who will latch on to you. And when I say latch on to you, because God is taking you higher, they want to see what they can get out of you, right? In a relationship, when I say real friends, real authentic relationships, they should be reciprocal. So if I'm pouring into you, then you should be pouring into me. If I'm helping you level up, then you should be helping me level up. It should not be a, a, a always give, give, I mean, always take, I'm sorry, not a give. It shouldn't be a always take thing. It should not be that type of relationship when it comes to your friends. If I'm giving you, I'm gonna use money as an example. 
you call me you say you need a loan right and I don't know let me just put it out there you need a $500 loan you call me you say I need a $500 loan if you are a real friend and I know you're a real friend I'm not gonna have a problem with giving you that $500 you know why because you are gonna make sure that you pay me my $500 back and you're gonna say within a certain time frame how you're gonna pay that back right if you are a real friend and I say I'm going through tough times, everybody know I'm a strong person, but I fall short. I fall short too, just like anybody else. You know why? Because I'm human. If I need somebody to pray for me, I'm good at praying for other people, but guess what? I need somebody to pray for me too, because I ain't perfect. But if I call you and tell you I need you to pray for me, and you be like, come on, let's bow our heads and pray. That's a friend. That ain't going to be somebody to say, you know what? How about we pray later because I got to take this phone call. That ain't no friend. That's not no friend. Real authentic friends. Somebody I can call when I'm broke down on the road. Again, it could be 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That friend is going to either come help you. Or they're going to find somebody that can come out there and help you. And come get you. They're not going to leave you stuck. They're not going to leave you stuck. That's a real friend. What's a real friend? Oh, let me. <laughs> I know I'm about to be preaching up in here. Because this is getting this resonating with my spirit. A real friend is somebody that knows. That. If you're being done wrong. They're going to let you know. They ain't going to hide it. They ain't, and you know, because sometimes people say, oh, that ain't my business. That ain't my business. No, you need to let me know. Because if you ain't going to tell me that something ain't right and you see something that ain't right, even in a, you know, um, when you know somebody's doing me wrong, then you ain't my friend. You need to tell it. Real authentic friend. Hmm. Let's talk about domestic violence shall we if you know that somebody is an abusive relationship and you turn a blind eye and say that's not my business you ain't no friend if you know somebody that's in a domestic violence relationship and they say that they need help and you say I can't help you that ain't no friend what I mean by I can't help you sometimes people be so quick to judge and they be so quick to sit there and say, you know what? You should leave this person. You should do this. You should do that. A friend is just going to say, how can I help you? Or what can I do? A friend ain't going to tell you to leave because sometimes people in abusive relationship, guess what? They don't know if they're going to leave. They don't know how they're going to leave. But you can help them find out by helping them with a plan. You can give them resources. You can sit there and say, I can, you can come to my house. You can say, you know what? I got a place for you to stay. That's a real friend. A real friend don't judge people. Real authentic friend. A real authentic friend is somebody who pours into you but not without expecting something in return. Did y'all catch that? A real authentic friend is somebody that you can sit there and do something for, do something for them and them not expect nothing in return. Let me tell you something. I have I have friends. You know, some people say, I ain't got no friends. I ain't got no friends. Well, let me tell you. Dr. Yolanda Jerry has a lot of friends. And when I say a lot of friends, let me tell you why I have a lot of friends. Because not every friend is going to fit in every aspect of my life. If I need somebody to pray for me, guess what? I got those two or three people that are my pray war prayer warriors that can pray for me. If I need a loan from somebody or I need a loan from a friend and be like, look, you know what? I need to borrow about $25. I'm going to pay you back on Friday. I got a couple of friends I can sit there and call on that I know has the money and know that I can pay that money back and I'm going to pay it on time. You get what I'm saying? A real authentic friend, another friend or friend, should I say? 
If I'm getting ready to travel somewhere and I'm going somewhere on business, let me tell you, I'm going to let those friends that I know that are of that are able to travel, I'm going to be like, hey, guess what? You should come to this conference with me. Because if I'm learning something and I'm going to get fed, guess what? And you sitting here starting your business, you can go and learn something and get fed too. And then let me take it a little further. If they say they can't go because they don't have the means to go, you know what? Sow that seed. Sow that seed into that person. Sow that seed into that friend. Because eventually, they're going to get to the point to where they're better to sit there and sow that seed back into somebody else. Tyler Perry said it best on the BET Awards. Help somebody else cross. That's what real friends, real authentic friends do. Help somebody cross. You know, that was on my mind today, you know. And if you're watching, please share this video because somebody needs to hear what I have to say today. Somebody needs to hear it. Um, surround yourself with like-minded people. You know, you got some people who will attach themselves to you just because of who you are, what you have, what you can give to them. And the minute that you stop, when you stop, doing all these things guess what they know where to be found a real friend don't do that they don't do that so surround yourself with real authentic friends they don't all have to be in the same basket you know don't put all your eggs in the same basket because when you put your eggs in the same basket guess what if that basket dropped guess what they all broke don't put them all in the same basket. Treat your friends the same way. Your praying friends can't be their friend, can't be be the same friends like those friends that will sit there and be like, you know what? Hey girl, I need some bail money. You know what I'm saying? Them two don't, I'm not gonna say they, they don't go together, but you know, they kind of a little bit contradicting themselves. So you need those friends. If somebody doing me wrong, you'd be like, you know what? I'm not of the spirit today. This person I went and you can go off. Guess what? Have that friend that you can go off with. But then that friend gonna come bring you back down and be like, okay, let now let's go talk to you, those praying friends. Whatever the case may be. But surround yourself with like-minded people who pour into you just as you pour into them. Sow into them as they sow into you. You know, I didn't get where I am today by myself there's been numerous people who have sold into me spiritually financially and i'm thankful for them i'm truly thankful for them because i would not be where i'm at today if it wasn't for these people because some people saw potential right you have some people that have potential and they just don't know how to get that out so guess what somebody somebody did that for me and now I'm going to make it my business and make sure that I do that all the time. If I see potential in somebody, I'm going to let them know. You got a gift. God gave you a gift. What can we do to make this gift level up? Like-minded people. Dr. Yolanda Jerry is God-driven, purpose-driven, an advocate. A seed sower I'm planting seeds because you know what when I leave this earth one thing I'm going to always want people to remember is I did God's work I did what he wanted me to do I took care of being I mean I took care of being in the uh, in the trenches with everybody else our generation right now the current generation we have so much going on or should I say the current world situation we have so much stuff going on we need people to continuously be out there to be the light for these people who are in dark places to include people who are friends of ours you know don't let the fake book because that's what it's called don't let fake, fake book fool you because people give you this picture of them being all glamorous I talked about that before I could be I'm gonna show you everything I'm gonna show you my glamorous side 
I'm going to show you my praying side. I'm going to show you the keep it real yogi side because that's my nickname, right? That's my alter ego. I'm going to show you who I am because at the end of the day, when somebody can see the real authentic you, they will pay attention to you. They will pay attention to you. They will draw to you, not draw away from you. Get you some real authentic friends who are happy for you when you level up. Get you some real authentic friends who will set your crown back up straight, upright when it's tilted, right? Get you some real authentic friends who will say, guess what? Let me buy your meal today because you got me last week. Get you some real authentic friends, people. Get them. I'm so sick of people saying, I ain't got no friends. You know, I'm by myself. You know, I, I don't get along with people. You know what? Maybe it's you. It ain't them. Look in the mirror and check yourself. It's probably you. If you ain't got no friends, you might need to do some self-reflection. Re self, self you know, you need to dig deep inside and figure out what is it with me that I don't have no friends. Because I got them. I got friends. I got associates. I have family. And I treat them all with love. They're not all in the same category. It's levels to this stuff, right? It's levels to this stuff. They're not in the same category. But I treat them all the same when it comes to love, right? I love everybody the same. Some more than others. But I still treat them with love. Even the people that hate on me. You know, and I don't like to use that word hate. Because it's, it's such a... I don't like that word. The people that dislike me. I still treat them with love and I treat them with kindness. You know why? Because God is love. So at the end of the day, I'm going to say this again. That's right, Rashid. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. And it's the truth. It's so true. There's so many people who would be willing to be your friend and help you. If we can stop thinking that we're in competition with people. And we can still stop thinking that we are um, better than somebody else. And we can stop letting money go to our head. Because some people letting money go. Let me tell you something. I'm a retired military. I ain't got time to worry about money going to my head. I don't care how far God takes me. I'm going to always come back. Because I know what it's like to be broke. I've been there. Get you some friends. I almost lost my train of thought. But get you some real authentic friends. Who want to see you happy. Because I'm going to tell you. At the end of the day. Guess what. I'm going to always be smiling. I might cry. I might have my days. But purging is good for the soul. Most of the time. I'm only crying. Because I miss my dad. You know. It's coming up on two years. August 24th. Since he's been gone. From this earth. But I cherish. All the memories. That I had. My daddy was my friend. He was a real authentic friend. He told me when I was right. He told me when I was wrong. He done snatched some stuff up out of me. You know, we done had falling outs, but we came right back again. You know why? Because my daddy was my friend. He was my dad. He was a parent first, but he was also my friend. So everything that he taught me and he instilled in me, I make sure that I pass it on to my, not only just to my daughter, but any of those kids I come in contact with. be the example for these younger generation children out there they don't know what it's like to have friends all they see is social media that's all they see they got likes loves here on social media but show them what the true meaning of having a true real authentic friendship is like okay I think I ran it enough. I probably ran it too much, but I had to get that out because I'm tired of hearing people saying I don't have no friends. And then I'm tired of saying hearing people say I'm I'm tired of being used. Stop giving your all to people who ain't worthy of having you. Ain't nothing wrong with cutting people off and going build new friendships. I've had to do it. Let me tell you, 2019 rolled around. Guess what? Some people got cut off. They done dropped off of my Facebook friends. Listen, I added some new people. Sometimes you got to purge them people out your life. 
So you can allow what God wants you to have in your life. Get rid of them. Purge them. Unfriend, block, delete. Do what you got to do. All right? But again, latch on to those people who want to see you win. Those people who are pouring into you as they are pouring, you know, that are pouring into you as you are pouring into them. You can't pour out from an empty cup. You just can't do it. If you can, somebody better tell me. But you can't pour out from an empty cup. So, you ain't got no friends. Maybe you're not sitting there looking hard enough. They out there. But make sure you check yourself first. Because that's the most important thing. You probably don't have no friends because you might have a nasty attitude. You know, you think you're better than somebody else. Or you think you don't need nobody. Check yourself. Like Rashid said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right? Once you do that self-evaluation on yourself, then maybe you will see where you can see better and the view is clearer and you can see those true, real, authentic friends. Get you some because I got me a whole lot of them, right? I got a whole lot of them. I don't share all my friends because they already know who they are, right? My praying friends, my keep it real friends, you know, my go hard in the paint friends, you know, my travel friends, my financial friends, if I need them, I have them. But you know why I have them? Because I know how to do the same for them when they need me. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. But make sure you share this because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear this message. I've probably been on here for a long time, but that's okay. Because guess what? I ain't got nothing but time until the Lord says otherwise. Share this video. Somebody needs to hear this message. Get you some real authentic friends. Other than that, I hope you all have a happy Friday. It's the weekend. And... My daughter is getting ready to go off to college, so mama got to do mama things. So have a blessed weekend, and I'll be back with you all soon, like I always do. I'll drop a live just because. Have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. Love you guys.